mailboxes come in many different shapes and sizes, and they can really tell about someone's personality. There are cool designs like this, or this, or even this. But now, horror has struck the mailbox industry. RESIDENTIAL MAILBOXES! Every day when you're walking down the street Everybody Ooh, that was you was And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day When we get to work and ah! ah! get along with each other you got, to, you got to listen to your heart Listen to the beat Listen to the rhythm Gathered here today To tell you The sad story of my life you already heard about how the mail truck trolled me but this time. This one still related to mail. This one's just stupid. This one does not directly involve the mail truck. It's more of my subdivision's problem. So, once upon a time, there was a young boy, and it was me. And I saw a mailbox one day, and it looked like a big fish, and it was pretty cool. And I was like, hey, we should get one of those. And then I discovered that can't happen unless we move out of the subdivision. Because the subdivision says all the mailboxes have to match. I don't know why. It's dumb. Oh, it's to look nice. Well, no one cares. It's gonna make it look more unique if there's all kinds of different mailboxes anyways. Oh, but these ones are supplied by the, by like, you know, the subdivision government. That one, I do not know. That may or may not be true. I don't really know. But, yeah, it's just so dumb. I mean, these things are so expensive to make, like, and this happened to my cousins a few months ago, like, their mailbox got ran over by a snowblower and it costed, like, I don't remember the exact number, it was like several hundred dollars. And then it's like, oh, we'll give you fifty dollars back for it. It's just like, face palm. <sighs> and if you think it's over with just the mailboxes, no, it doesn't stop there. They also have rules on building sheds, building things in your backyard, and all kinds of other things, like how much of the woods you can use or whatever. It's like, I mean, you can build a shed, but it has to match your house. And like, we own like a tiny sliver of the woods and then some, some douchebag owns the rest of it and he like, he owns like 98% of the woods and he won't give up any of the rest of it. I mean, it's probably not like he ever even uses it. We probably use it a lot more than he ever did. But, yeah. It's just... There's some crooked people out there. And geez, have you ever seen the movie The Benchwarmers? There's a scene where the guys are training for baseball, and then they start hitting mailboxes. I wish I could just do that, because that would be so epic. I wish I could just destroy our mailboxes. Just destroy the... The rule that says you have to have matching mailboxes, it's just... These residential mailboxes, they are a disgrace to our community. They do not let people embrace their inner personality and creativity. Their inner self. They may take our lives, but they can never take our freedom! Who's with me? So, yeah. I just, I hope that they stop with this residential mailbox thing soon and that it doesn't... Like, spread to all over the world or whatever. I don't know if it already has, but... Yeah, it's like... It's like saying that everybody in the... In a subdivision has to have the same type of refrigerator. Or all beds have to be the same color. Or something retarded like that. Like, you shouldn't force it. You really shouldn't force it. It's just... It's not right. Just let people do whatever they feel like. Well, not... Not whatever they feel like, because... Otherwise, you know, they could do the Holocaust again, but... You know, just like... Just let people show their inner self, just express their creativity, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah.
rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. Kind of day. Learn to work and fight. Get along with each other. Hey, what a 